hey there, this is Bill Schulteis. I'm the creator of The Coffee House Investor, and my mission is to work with you so that together we can help everyone build wealth, ignore Wall Street, and get on with their lives. I think one of the reasons why so many people have connected with The Coffee House Investor over the past 20 years is because the principles are inherently true. You know them to be true because they've been shared with you long ago by someone much smarter than me. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. There's no such thing as a free lunch and save for a rainy day. Today I want to take a few moments and share with you some ideas that can accentuate your journey to embrace this simple principle, save for a rainy day. And the first thing I want you to consider is create an awareness of how much you should be saving so that you're able to sustain your lifestyle when you do retire. Now, if you're just starting out working right out of college or right out of high school, you know, sock away 10 or 15% of your paycheck. The more, the better. But if you're getting on in your life, if you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, now you need to have a better awareness of how much you should be saving so that you can sustain a lifestyle that you want to in your retirement years. That's really important that you have that awareness. It may, you may not be able to save that much right now, but at least you have a goal to shoot for. The second thing I want you to keep in mind is the importance of keeping track of how much you're spending throughout the year. Again, it doesn't have to be down to the penny. But ballpark, do you have an idea where your dollars are going? This benefits you in two ways. The first way is because it allows you an awareness of if you're spending money on things that bring meaning to your life. Sometimes these things bring meaning to our lives, but we're spending money over here. So that awareness is healthy for us. The second thing, how we're spending money, is that it gives us an idea of what our burn rate is so that we can be saving to match that burn rate in our retirement years. And then the third thing that everyone knows makes sense when it comes to saving is make it automatic. Don't try to figure out how much you need to save every month after you pay your bills. Save at the first of the month. You can do that through a workplace savings plan or you can do that through a simple bank account where they have automatic deposits. Keep those three, those three things in mind. I can promise you it will accentuate your ability to save as it has accentuated coffee house investors over the past 20 years. This is Bill Schulteis. I'll catch you next week.